Hi guys, my name is Mario Mariani and I'm an Italian musician, composer and pianist. I could bother you with many blah blah, with the story of my life, my biography, I studied there, I played there and um, so on. But uh, I prefer to bother you uh, with a video clip in which I sing my resume, and I apologize for this, and stretch a 20 years musical career uh, in a video clip of two minutes and a half. So let's see. I was born in Italy a little time ago. I'm still living here for what reason, don't know. To get out of here, it's my heartfelt desire We didn't get up anymore since the Roman Empire My name is Mario Mariani Not to confuse with Ramin Barami I'm not the classical piano guy If you be patient, I show you why I can play this instrument in different styles From romantic to contemporary to total improvise Sometimes I put off jets on the sounding board Piano tuners look at me and the same my lord A chain of the strings to have a harpsichord Percussion mallets for seashore Tennis ball for a walking bass And the milk frother kicks the piano ass Someone sing balls, dancing and then A Chinese stick as a gamelan With all the tools that my hands can snatch I make a cowbell sound like a DJ scratch DJ scratch I do central for movies, theater and TV Some important festivals have been working with me I release many albums if it's not enough Check out music for ensemble and orchestral stuff I spent a month in a cave in 2010 With the grand piano sleeping in a tent on the following year, I built a house in the wood, made a festival there, and it was so good! Many other projects, many chances, from shaman music to neurosciences, a genuine approach to spirituality, I in the shine inside, or made in Italy. So thank you very much for your precious time, I invite you to see more, it will be so fine. Please share this video, you can't be wrong. Go to www.mariomariano.com Okay, now that you're supposed to know something more about the guy who's in front of you, I would like to talk about uh, my musical approach and a strange word called multi disciplinarity so, first of all, when uh, I'm not hired as a composer in order to satisfy the film director's musical need uh, that is finishing uh, his uh, probably masterpiece, and so uh, he's uh, asking me the perfect music for uh, his uh, perfect opera and probably with uh, a strong music that uh, can sound like uh, an 80 pieces orchestra but at the price, uh, the budget of uh, one mandolin player. And all has to be as soon as possible and as better as possible with my computer and my musical gear. So, when I'm not hired uh, for writing music under these conditions, I can get more inside uh, some uh, research and uh, experimental and uh, so-called contemporary music. Here, you are, you are you're seeing a typical uh, contemporary notation and it's uh, pretty nice and a little bit strange that uh, we use the term uh, contemporary uh, to indicate music like in this example that, that was written over 40 years ago despite this I'm truly convinced that uh, music uh, has uh, to deal more than life 
more uh, than arts and uh, many various uh, disciplines than uh, written notes, uh, structures uh, and rules. Music, to me, is a catalyst for many disciplines uh, with the music like uh, uh, central medium. So we have poetry for ideas uh, like, uh, like uh, a melody um, and I appreciate of the poetry to say a lot with very few words. Then uh, we have visual and painting, sight and sounds, two or more senses that uh, are meld together. I often think as a painter uh, who is working with uh, abstract matter. As Shakespeare would say, made of same stuff the dreams are made of. Acting and dancing like the, the physical intelligence and even mathematics for the idea of uh, structures and the musical subdivision too. And shamanism too. Uh, relating to the magic, to that magic place in which the artist goes and uh, grabs something and uh, is caught uh, even by these uh, so subtle influences that later he uh, will regive as an art form. So I mix all these elements, trying to do my best to mix them in an uncanny way. Um, the importance to me is to forget what I'm doing. And so I mix all the artists' disciplines in a kind of multi-disciplinary way. I will do my best to forget the rules, especially in my piano concert, that are completely and totally improvised. Even if uh, I prefer to use uh, the term uh, rather than improvisation, that uh, reminds me so much the jazz music and variations on themes. It's a transpersonal, instantaneous composition. And the, there are no written melodies, no structures, no rules, just music. So I imagine the music that I would like to listen, and voila, I play it. Or uh, in a deep, relaxed state, in a, uh, that kind of state of wonder, when I am just uh, uh, sitting in front of my piano keyboard, in front of the audience, just in that moment, music comes. And really, it's magic. It's like uh, the famous uh, uh, walk on the tightrope by Philippe Petit in 1974. Uh, the hardest step is the first step. And for me, it's the first time I strike the key and I begin my totally uh, transpersonal concert. And so, like uh, in this walk, uh, there's no safety net. So, okay, it's less uh, dangerous than the Philippe Petit walk, but uh, it's really a, a state of wonder, a state of magic, in which uh, I balance all these energies uh, by helping with the idea of the two Gray hemisphere functionality. We see uh, all people know that the right hemisphere has to deal with intuition, music, and special abilities, uh, and the left hemisphere with the math, with logic, with language, with the structure. And regarding the usage of the human brain, here we have uh, probably a legend. Uh, they say we are using only a small part of our brain functionalities, the 10%. I don't know if uh, this is uh, scientifically true, but uh, I can assure that uh, the most part of pianists uses only the 10% of their piano. Uh, only the keyboard part and not the inside of the piano where the sound comes from. And uh, I, I like to, to, to investigate, to explore this world. It's, it's really a world uh, by placing uh, a lot of daily objects like uh, Big Brother, like walls, like chairs, that uh, as just shown in the opening uh, clip. This has to deal again with the multi and disciplinarity. I'm not satisfied by sound, by 
the things that are just ready, and they want to investigate more. As a great man said, without uh, deviation from the norm, progress is not possible, said Frank Zappa, another great multi and disciplinary genius. So, find your peculiarity, find your soul code, your instrument, and uh, when you have found it, play. Play your instrument, play the music that you want, and don't play the music written by somebody else. And above all, enjoy the transpersonal, instantaneous composition of your life.